All right, I'm up here at the farm. Had a problem with the chisel plow yesterday. Got some hard ground in the tractor. Well, the tractor's a big tractor, and it's an 18 foot chisel plow. And we've actually ripped it in half several times with her pulling her there. We had to rebrace her here, here, here. So as you can see, I broke off that side. See how it's supposed to be up here with the U-bolt. Well, she ripped this side right off, busted the U-bolt and everything. So I'm gonna unhook her today so we can, we gotta get a new U-bolt, put her back up there. Well, that's what the plan is for this morning. Not fixing it, but just getting it set. My brother, he was supposed to spread this fertilizer sometime. He's with his woman now. He's all in love, so it's hard to get him to work weekends. Right, Alex? He ain't got but that spinner left to spread. I don't know what's left inside here, but we'll figure it out. And the tender. There's nothing in there, but he's still got that little bit spread. So they're just talking about rain Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. So I'm going to start this thing up, get her warmed up. Then I'm going to move the sprayer ahead and put the fertilizer away just in case he doesn't, doesn't get here today. It's Sunday. Spin it. He's got a little straw to hold it make too. Uh, let's see if the old girl will start. Oh, yeah. Turn the air conditioner off. It's cold. It's cold this morning. I guess I'll do a cold start on this bad boy. Oh look, he had some donuts he didn't tell anybody about. Oh yeah. Hope you got the radio up loud. Alright, so now we'll come over here. I'm gonna move the sprayer up that way we can. Put that away. Jamie came out here and fixed the sprayer. The other day it was a leak. There's two O-rings that were, I showed you they were in here on this pump right here. It's two fittings that were in the back. And uh, come to find out the O-rings, I had been changing the O-rings but I hadn't tightened them I didn't know how tight I was supposed to put them things and he really wailed on them. But he said that the O-rings I was putting on were the wrong ones. He said John Deere sells an inch kit and that's what you wanna use. So he changed them both. And she hadn't been leaking, so that's good. That was a main thwart in my ass last year. I changed them things, I don't know how many times. I seen on Millennial Farmer, his was leaking in the same exact spot and he had to change them. So I don't know what o-rings he actually used on his but he had problems with the same fittings leaking as i did so i'm just gonna move her up just so my brother's tractor will fit in here in just case it does rain oh I gotta start spreading manure at some point with her. And then I gotta get the, we get all that done, I gotta get the planter hooked up. She's still changing the beans from last year. We just washed her and put away. I still gotta, I gotta change her over to corn and put all the blocks on the split rows. Of course, this year I'm thinking about just leaving her on corn and uh, drilling the beans. Them split, I like the split row, but damn if it ain't a pain in the ass changing them over. I wish we had a, I actually wish we had her for beans 
because I really like the 15 inch beam because I, you know, and I run her off the monitor, but I really wish we had a 16 row 1770 with the tank and everything on it. You know, CCS, same as that planter, just 16 rows and the split rows, but with the tank, with a fertilizer tank on it. That's what I really wish. I mean, you can buy them. I see a lot of them for sale pretty cheap, but we really need a drill before we get another planter. Our drill is going. I like to get a 1990 drill. I got a nice one down Pogamo. I talked to Jeff about. She's got all the. She's actually got the. When you run her through the 2630, she's set up for swap control too. So while you're planting your your beans, you can use a swap control when it won't affect. You know, you won't be wasting seed like with that planter. She's got swap control. I don't waste no seed. And most drills don't have that, but the drill down there, she's set up for it. So that does make it pretty sweet. I like to demo it or try it or try to plant beans with it and just see what what kind of stain you get with the 1990. So that'd be something definitely to invest in. And she's not that, that expensive. But everything's coming quick. I mean, hell, it's almost the middle of March now, if you think about it. I mean, plant season's going to be here before you know it. And I'd actually like to get my... I want to, as soon as I get done corn, just like I did last year, I'm going to hook up and go right to beans. I mean, some of the best beans we've had, or the earliest beans we've planted. You know, it's the... Dad likes to wait a couple weeks in between beans, but last year we went right into beans. I mean, I changed the planter over the same day I was planting. And, uh, man, it really, really looked good. They did good, looked good, everything. So that's what I'm planning on doing this year, too. Yeah, we'll get her unhooked here and see what we can do. Hope she don't fall on me. Get up here and get that unhooked. All right, so I just got her unhooked. See, this belongs on here, and this one belongs on here. But see where she busted the broke the U bolt right in half. So, just gotta get a new U-bolt for her. And then we'll put her back on, it's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty quick fix. I still got maybe two or three swipes I gotta do back in that, where that paw was. And then we'll be done chisel plowing this year. But anyway, that's her. That's her broke right there. This piece goes right there, just like that one. Here's Rizzo. They get a little straw. Look, he puts his biker on going out the driveway. Get out here. At least get the trailer loaded. 
may have to be done for today. He got lured out yesterday with Bobcat while I was down at deer ordering parts for the chisel plow. So I got to be there around 7. I said the parts, the U bolts will be in at 7, so I'll go down there and pick them up. It's supposed to rain today. I got. I don't know, five more swipes probably with the chisel plow, then I'll be done with it. So I'd like to get it folded on, hooked back up, and get them five swipes done. So I can unhook it and put it away for the rest of the year. That'll be done. I got that new farm, it's got some combine ruts in it from the previous year. I really need to chisel plow that, to be honest, and get them out, but I'm kind of hoping that the disc get them out good enough. I don't know if it will or not. It'd be nice if we weren't going to get this rain. I could run over there and do that to the plow. But I think we're going to get some rain today. They're calling for. And we're not supposed to get a lot today, but Thursday we're supposed to get quite a bit. But it's still mid-March, so we got time. Finally got the wheat done, got all the fertilizer in it. Dry fertilizer, I'm gonna spray it. Nitrogen on it here soon.
once you get it loaded, come up behind it. Show them on the forward so they fit on the trailer perfect. So we're down here at Deer this morning. I had to pick up some U bolts for that chisel powder broke. So I'm gonna come back here and look at this drill. I really like to have this drill for putting beans in and then putting wheat in. I don't like that turbo tilling that wheat in. There we show it to you. Here she is. The 1990 30 foot seven and a half inch spacing. I had the boy out here with me yesterday looking, said she's got everything good blades, good everything on her, good bushings. Good tires. She's got scales on her, she's got the markers on her, she's got um, row shutoffs on her. Definitely rather have this and have that Great Plains. It's a nice drill. Well, somebody traded a case in for a deer. Let's see what else they got in here. I 
Well, so I got rid of a manure spreader. She don't look like she's in bad shape either. There's a nice tractor. 82, 85. And put, they said them tires are $40,000 for them tires right there. I don't know why the boy did it. He had nice tires already on her. But he spent 40 grand on big fat tires. Hey! A lot of money for some, some rubber. Well, I got some, I don't know if you can see them or not. Got some gobblers out here strutting up, a bunch of hens. They like that chisel plow ground and find some bugs and worms early. I don't know if you can see that big gobbler though. He's behind the other gobbler. See them all strutted up. Looks like there's another one. See that big oak? There's another gobbler strutting in front of that tree. There's two big gobblers right there. Them boys like that turkey season. Go in here and see how much straw we got left. My brother's in here now. Getting some out. And the bobcat, you can see him in there. Well, we still got quite a bit of loads in here. There's still probably four or five loads in here. So he'll still be another week, week hauling. So, I didn't think we had that many left, but apparently we do. Anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm thinking, I've been seriously thinking about, I was in Walmart the other day and I was thinking about getting a GoPro. The only thing that with the cell phone is it's so easy to, I can't take video with the cell phone and the GoPro and get it all on a video, I don't know. I guess you could download your cell phone to your computer and then go ahead and upload your thing. I haven't figured that out yet. But I'm gonna, I'm thinking about getting a GoPro and doing everything, but damn, they had them in there for $3.99 for the, I think they were the eights. But I do like the cell phone because I always carry that with me anyway. I really don't wanna have to carry two or three different things with me all the time. But it does seem like it makes better videos for you guys. So who knows? We'll see how it goes. I might get one and just try it. I really don't want to fill my computer up with a bunch of stuff though. But maybe I can get like a little laptop just to do the, the YouTube channel. That way I don't get my big computer all jammed up with a bunch of stuff. But we'll see. Anyway, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd like to get a thousand subscribers. I know the content sucks right now because we're not really doing much. But as soon as we get back to farming again, planting and everything, it'll be... A lot better hopefully so just subscribe or get people to subscribe just so i get it i think i'm at 541 i'd like to try to get a thousand subscribers then i can do a live video and answer questions and talk to everybody but youtube won't let you do a live until you you hit a thousand subscribers so let's see let's hope so see you